Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, today I have um, basically a comparison of my June is the month. Um, my June birch box and um, Ipsy bag, which I just got today. So uh, I guess I'll do my birch box since I got it first. Uh, but anyway, uh, this month's theme was uh, Away We Go. So it had kind of a travel theme to it. And I got um, the Love Shampoo, Lovely Smoothing Shampoo for dry and frizzy hair. Um, has an Indian fig extract. And I think this is an Italian brand. Um, just going off the label here. It's an inter interesting scent. It smells very kind of green and herbally. Um, interesting. Um, so I'm sure I will use this at some point. Um, this is a really generous shampoo sample size, I think, by Birchbox standards. Um, this is 2.5 fluid ounce, so that's like that's like legit. That's like a real travel size. Although it looks like the actual product only comes up to about there. Anyway, um, look forward to trying that. And I also got um, the Gilchrist and Soames body lotion. Um, this is a London brand, and this has 1.5 fluid ounce. So again, really generous size. And this, it doesn't have a scent listed. It just, it smells kind of just like fresh, a little spa-like maybe. Um, I think I can tell this is going to be a little bit of a runnier consistency. So uh, we'll see how that works. And I got a um, Cynthia Rowley. This is a creamy lip stain apparently in the shade Valentine. And I will apply it if I can ever get it open. Kind of a, uh, almost a corally color, I think. Ooh, it looks pinker. I feel like I'm not getting super opaque coverage, although it's too patchy or anything, so that's good. Um, so anyway, so a little one of those is 2.25 grams or 0.079 ounces in my eyes don't deceive me. I feel like that's a pretty decent sample. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Chris, uh, Christina, Cynthia Raleigh is a Birchbox exclusive brand for the moment. All right, and then um, I guess this is kind of a matching um, sample with the shampoo. This is the Love Conditioner. Um, this is Lovely Smoothing Conditioner with Borage Oil, whatever that is, um, for harsh and frizzy hair. Um, yeah, so I think it's kind of unusual to get like a really full-size shampoo like this in a, uh, a packet of conditioner, but um, see, at least it gives you the option of trying them together. And I think I already opened this packet. I got one of these little, um, I don't know what you call this, like envelope type. Um, but anyway, there's also this um, oil all-in-one milk multi-benefit beauty treatment with Roku oil for all kinds of hair, and this is also the, is it Davines, or, uh, uh, I, I don't know how you say that, but um, anyway, different hair brand, nice to explore. Um, and then there's this Catherine, Catherine um, Malandrino perfume, and has a little pouch like that, and then this is, interesting, Okay, so it's just, it's, it's, it's like a normal spritz, but it has a cap. I don't know, it doesn't say, does it? I don't know what the notes are supposed to be. Um, it's supposed to be summery fruits and florals for an elegant vibe. <laughs> it says, wear it with your favorite sundress, and then spritz again before meeting friends for cocktails. Um, the full size is apparently $110, which... Um, I, I don't know how many ounces that is, so depending on how big it is, it could be kind of a lot. Um, but again, this is another Birchbox ex exclusive. Um, the Cynthia Raleigh was also an exclusive. So this... Which 
which I like that. It's, it's a little, I mean, obviously when you just spray a perfume, you get a heavy dose of the alcohol. I don't know. I don't know if that's my favorite, but anyway. All right, and then there is this um, Caudalie Polyphenol Serum, anti-wrinkle defense. Um, so yeah, so it's really hard to say like if this does anything or if it's good, but um, yeah, cute little Caudalie sample. And um, I guess, well, next to last, they had these cars that came with it, which apparently was... Um, a way to win tickets from JetBlue, and I think they were trying to make it look like boarding passes a little bit, maybe. Um, and they have these, um, like all these different little cards. There's one for Austin, Chicago, New York, Portland, San Francisco, and on the back they have kind of different ideas to explore the city. Um, so Austin, for example, it says, known for its music, food, and laid-back attitude, the city gave us everything from South by Southwest to Whole Foods. Um, talks about the music venue, Marius music venue, an urban hike, Texas barbecue, and the coolest view. Um, so that's kind of cool. I don't have immediate plans to go to any of these cities. Um, if anything, I'd probably be going to New York soonest, but um, yeah, kind of nice to stash away or whatever. And then finally, I would, this was actually one of my most disappointing things about this, um, this box was, um, I'm sure as everyone knows, Benefit has been very heavily promoting its new eyeliner, um, which is, I think, the real or whatever. Um, but then it came, it came with this little card that says, Benefit Cosmetics has eye-opening news. Um, it comes open like that, and then... Uh, it says, uh, they're real push-up liner, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then it says, it will be available on June 27th. You can get in line now um, to add your name to the announcement list. Um, I was really excited because I thought um, there was an option to get a sample, or a deluxe mini, they're calling it, um, of this eyeliner when you spent 25 in the Birchbox shop and use a code, but it's actually for the mascara, which I've already tried and I already have samples of, so that was kind of a bummer, but um, I'm sure I will get a hold of it eventually just to see if it's like worth the hype and all that, so um, anyway, that was my Birchbox. I would have to say um, I was really impressed by the size of these two guys. Um, I feel like these two packets, I don't mind as much because I feel like they're kind of like accessories, if you will, to this. Um, the cards are kind of a cute touch, and um, I got these little guys, which are pretty small. Perfume sample, I could, you know, whatever. Um, lip stain is kind of nice because, you know, since I think Birchbox has been kind of promoting the Cynthia Rowley brand, it's kind of nice to try out. And the Caudalie is kind of like, well, probably won't be using it anytime soon, but you can't fault them for the brand or anything like that. And it's resealable, so pretty good. I would give it maybe an 8 on a scale from 1 to 10. Um, so yeah, so not my worst birch box by any means. Um, and then I got my Ipsy bag, and I was kind of impressed actually because this month's Ipsy was, or the Ipsy bag rather, was designed by Rebecca Minkoff, which I'm sure, as you know, is a pretty good um, designer, very sought after. Um, and it's not an actual Rebe Rebecca Minkoff bag, I should qualify. Um, it says for Ipsy, so they, you know, it's the standard kind of nylon-y type texture with the zipper. Um, and it looks like, oh, let's see, it has some like pineapples and it's very kind of summery, um, navy blue background with this red zipper and just like a plain metal pull there. Um, this is kind of, I think for me the, the bag was the most exciting part, which is not generally what you want. Um, but anyway, I got the Mark Anthony Dream Waves Beach Spray, which I feel like I've gotten so many beach sprays lately in various forms that I, I could go without using another one. 
Um, but you got that. And then um, this is kind of interesting. This is the Essence of Beauty, um, the Fine Fragrance Collection. Uh, Forever Paris Fine Fragrance Body Mist. This is in two ounces. And I guess I should have sprayed one arm with that perfume and one arm with this one, but here, I'll just take the, the birch box card and spray it. Like a tester. Hmm, it smells very fruity and sweet. Like candy, I guess. Um, so maybe not to my taste, but someone might really like it. Um, <clears throat> there's this Be a Bombshell mascara, which if I never get another Be a Bombshell product in an Ipsy bag, I would be perfectly happy with that. Like, I'm just kind of over it. Um, anyway, it's the, is it a specific one? Lash Out Mascara. And it doesn't say what you're supposed to do or anything like that. But, okay. Kind of has, you know, like the, the old school Maybelline what's that called? Great Lash? It kind of reminds me of that. It has a kind of off-putting smell, actually. Hmm. Not like smell is what you really look for in a mascara, but, you know. You don't want to put something that's like super <clears throat> weird sounding. Like this has um, parabens, um, has other things, which I'm sure are lovely. Um, but yeah, not, not something I'm too eager to try out, unfortunately. Um, and then, there, oh, I should say, the card um, for this month, which doesn't say what products I got, again. Um, but anyway, it's the Pretty in Paradise theme, I guess. Um, so, anyway, I got this um, eyeliner, which could be full size. I'm sure the mascara is full size. Um, these are both, obviously, like travel sizes. Um, so this is a shimmer eyeliner. And this kind of emerald green, it has one of those kind of um, silicone tips, kind of interesting color. So obviously it's not a color I will wear on a daily basis or like to work, um, but it could be fun. I don't know if it's probably not waterproof, I'm guessing. Made in China in the shade green. And this is from Nick Nickak. Nick AK, I don't know, New York. Um, so there's that. And also, there is a NYX Butter Gloss. And this is, again, another kind of, this is super peachy. Um, I don't know if I've ever had one of these before, I can't remember. Um, but this is in this shade, Apple Strudel, which kind of made me laugh. Because um, I've lived in Germany before. Um, but this, to me, doesn't really suggest apple strudel. I mean, if anything, it's like peach cobbler, maybe, would be more appropriate. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, well, maybe I can put this over. Yeah, I will. Um, what I'm wearing, but, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, this is probably full size, I'm guessing. I think it smells okay. Like, I've had some NYX products before that was really kind of off-put by the smell, but um, that seems all right. So anyway, so that is my um, June Ipsy and Birchbox bags. I can't believe it's June already. Um, and I, I would give the Ipsy bag maybe a four out of 10. Like I'm just not that impressed with it. So um, I think I think Birchbox definitely wins um, for like quality of products and all that and what I would actually probably use. Um, and again, with each Birch, Birchbox product that you get. So I've gotten a grand total of one, two, three, four, oh, what's my card say? Three, four, five, six, seven products maybe between like the shampoo, the conditioner, the lotion, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's that right there. And you get um, 10 points for each product you review in the Birchbox shop, and then each 100 points equates to $10 in their store. So this is basically $7 worth of free points in the Birchbox store. 
Um, so that almost pays for this, the box itself, plus, you know, you get to try stuff, obviously. Um, so, I think, you know, Birchbox for me has a very good business model. Um, Ipsy, you know, they don't do that. Basically, they give you codes and stuff to use at external sites. Um, so I feel like, you know, they just, I, I don't know, maybe they get stuff for free, and then, you know, obviously they're charging people around $10 a month to get the bag. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, but you generally get lower quality of ingredients. Although there are some really um, good sizes and that sort of thing. So um, I hope that was helpful. And um, I think I might be filming another haul soonish, um, as bad as that is. Um, yeah, and I hope um, all of you have a great Father's Day, or had probably by the time this goes up. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.